the engine is paired with a 5-speed manual transmission or a 4-range automatic. Switching occurs quite harshly, which is not very convenient and in some cases irritates drivers. In first gear, the 1.5-liter engine feels jerky, but upon repeated acceleration it calms down. Beginners should not try too hard on this model of car. It is better to limit the speed to 50 kilometers. The acceleration time is quite long and is almost 15 seconds for a 1.5-liter engine and 17 seconds for a 0.66-liter engine. This is important to consider when overtaking. In addition, the engine service life is quite short. After just two years, problems arise with it even with particularly careful use. It's quite simple to explain. At a speed of 80 km per hour its revolutions are 3,500, and at 90 even more, 4,000. If a driver allows himself to drive at a speed of 100 km per hour, then there is a high probability that the engine will become unusable within a month. Running the engine to the limit even when moving slowly leads to rapid wear. Fuel consumption is not justifiably high and averages 11 liters in the city and 9 liters on the highway. If you turn on the air conditioner, it will increase significantly. The turbine leaves much to be desired. The air filter is constantly covered in oil because she throws oil into it. The gaskets, which are located at the bottom of the valve cover, wear out quickly and require replacement every six months. Otherwise, oil will start leaking. Even applying sealant will not save the situation. The car is equipped with two suspensions, front and rear. The first is presented in the form of a wishbone, the second on coil springs. The suspension is quite stiff. Irregularities that occur on the road are transmitted to the body. As a result, the driver and passengers feel them well, which is not very pleasing. Since Russian roads are not of good quality, they quickly kill the front suspension. The radiator is fragile. There are cases when its plastic part immediately cracks. Moreover, we are talking about cars only imported from Japan. Only replacing it with a new one will help correct the situation. The steering rack is a disease in Daihatsu Tirio's kid cars, which the manufacturer is not able to eliminate. Even new vehicles suffer from it. It occurs quite quickly, after 5 to 10,000 kilometers manifests itself in the form of an uncharacteristic knocking sound. The cause of the problem lies in the design features of the mechanism. It is quite difficult to deal with it on your own. Even replacing the rack will not fix the car. Window regulators are often a concern. Especially during the cold season. In severe frost they freeze. The windows open poorly and not all the way. Since the car is designed for use on Japanese roads, it has not been tested in cold climates. As a result, many Russians complain about high air flow. Especially on the driver's side. In addition, the stove is located inconveniently and works poorly. Therefore, in winter you can simply freeze in the car. The problem can be solved. It is enough to improve thermal insulation. To do this, put simple insulation under the door trim. It would also be nice to install different car blankets on the engine or install a more powerful battery. This will avoid difficulties with starting the car in severe frosts. An SUV requires careful maintenance. The assembly is not of high quality. And this is not surprising, the car is budget. Particular attention should be paid to the thresholds. They are an obvious drawback, they quickly begin to rust, which spoils the exterior of the model. This can be prevented if you promptly coat them with an anti-corrosion agent. The main disadvantages of Daihatsu Tirio's kid. Small trunk. Noise insulation. In the cabin during fast driving you can hear not only the wheels running, but also extraneous sounds. You shouldn't count on silence in a budget car. Small-sized interior. It will be difficult for a driver whose height is more than 185 centimeters to control the vehicle. The cabin is quite cramped, especially in the rear seats. Only two adult passengers can sit here. Large turning angle. Weak ability to maintain one's own state. In strong winds, the car blows away. Low power. Poor off-road performance, and does not handle at all in mud. Especially when the air conditioner is on. Difficult to find required parts. It is impossible to say unequivocally about the Daihatsu Tirio's kid car. Reviews from owners vary, for some the car is ideal, for others it has a bunch of shortcomings. 
When buying any used vehicle, it is important to pay attention to its weak points. This model was no exception. It has its disadvantages that are worth knowing about. Many should be treated leniently, since the SUV is budget. Price and quality match, 